looking at myself in the mirror and this try on might go better if I have a wig on. Maybe I can pull this off my shoulder so you can see how it looks on. Oh, it's gorgeous. I mean, we could see how it looks with the wig on, but I almost feel like I don't need to put the wig on with this. What's up, it's Yo-Yo the House Lady. Welcome back to my channel where we never say never when it comes to fashion. Now, let's get into a couple of things. You know I always call you fly girls and fly guys, but I've been thinking and I think I want a name for us. So, I was watching something and it came to me. I said, I got it. We are officially the Style Posse. I don't know if anyone else on YouTube has ever used that name for their community. But as of today, what's today's date? Alexa, what is today's date? Today is Tuesday, January 16th. Yeah, because yesterday was Martin Luther King Jr. Day. I should have remembered that. Okay, so as of Tuesday, January 16th, we are the Style Posse. Now, unless someone comes and says, hey, I've been using that name, that's my name, no harm, no foul. But if you haven't used it, that is who we are. You can stake no claim on it. The claim is being made today. All right, so let me start all over. What's up? It's Yo-Yo the House Lady. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel where we never say never when it comes to fashion. Shout out to all the fly girls and fly guys. We are officially the Style Posse. Oh, and if you like what you see, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share. We're getting into a winter sale unboxing slash try on here. So let's just get right into it. Let's see where we'll go first. Let's go here first. All right, first thing. This is from Sincerely Antoinette. Oh, I know what this is. Um, let's see how I open. cute card and it's a jewelry brand and a care card nicely packaged okay so I immediately fell in love when I saw this. And I do mean immediately. Now, if I have that correct. Oh, I knew I was going to love this. <laughs> and how apropos this lipstick, I think. Um, Does it clamp or adjust? Let's see. Oh, it feels pretty stationary, not like it really adjusts, but I would need it to adjust so it doesn't fall off of my nose, but this is, when I tell you, ooh, 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 I love it. I absolutely love this. Let me see if I can give you put my belt up a little higher if I put my belt up higher maybe I can pull this off my shoulder so you can see how it looks on oh, it's gorgeous I don't know can you see that That's beautiful. Very tribal. I love it. I absolutely love it. It just has little protective plastic on the ends. But it's absolutely beautiful. I mean, 
we could see how it looks with the wig on but i almost feel like i don't need to put the wig on with this i love it oh i'm going to order more pieces from her i do need to see if i can squeeze it a little tighter on my nose because you see it'll it just falls right off so i'll read the instructions to see if adjusting it is an option because if it's not then it's not going to work for me because it just see it just falls off of my nose but if i can somehow tighten that i don't know i don't know but i do love it okay let me give you one more close up on that What do we think? Do we love it? I do. Okay. All right, next up. You typically, if you've watched before, you tip, typically do not see this rack. Um, this rack is usually not a part of my filming. Um, I usually only use this rack for my clothes when I wash them. Um, very few of my clothes do I throw in the dryer. So once I wash my clothes, I typically hang them to dry. So this is my hang them to dry rack. I can't find the wheels for it. So who is this from? This is from Sax. Okay. That flash sale, I'm telling you. So what do you think about style posse? Okay. This is a denim shirt that I thought was really cute and just wanted to see it in person. This is also something that I got on flash sale. Cute, right? That is too, too cute. And for what it's worth, I love the denim on denim trend, but I'm a denim girl anyway. I have tons and tons and tons of denim. So I don't care whether denim and denim is, or denim on denim is in style or out of style makes me no, never mind. But is this cute? That's just the cutest top. She might be a keeper. My shoulders. I may need to get her in a medium. I don't know. I don't know. She's cute. See the back? Isn't that cute? I think the original price for this was like three. What does that say? Three twenty-eight. But it was on flash sale, so. That's really cute, right? Um, kind of reminds me of this Levi's top that I have, only this is in a short sleeve version. Somewhat, well, not really, because this is more like a balloon sleeve and this is more like a, um, more like a prairie. All right, I'm just going to, hang her up so I can look at her for a little while and see if she gets to stay or not. But she's cute, right? Really cute. I don't think I need a medium. I think small is going to be good in this. Okay. Alright. Let's see what we have next. What is this? What is this? Let me just This is from I can't even see the name on that what is this oh this is from the real real 
Oh, I know what this is. I know what this is. If you've seen any of my earlier videos, you know that I love the real real. I have been shopping with the real real for I want to say 10, 11 years. I've been consigning with them, I think, since 2014. I found some amazing things on the real real. So, case in point, and hopefully they fit. Let me move this box cutter. Close it down. I'm going to try to stick to that rule just so it becomes a habit, but when I saw these gloves right here, baby, it was add to cart immediately. These gloves are by Christian Dada. Can you see that? It reads across the glove, Christian Dada and their leather and they're substantial and they're dope oh my gosh i mean look at the color on them gloves and what's crazy the zipper oh this is real fly oh please let them fit because they are tiny although my hand is skinny so the design detail is real crazy Oh, please let them. <laughs> wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Let's see. Wait, how am I going to zip them is the question. Oh, like that. Oh, please fit. When I say to you, these gloves let me explain something to you even if i can't zip these bad boys up you know leather breaks wears even if i couldn't zip them up they don't just like this look at that look at that now I don't know if they would be stiff enough to always stand up that way, but come on, y'all. Check this out. You know what? I am going to raise my camera angle because I think my head might be getting cut off. I hope not. Let me see. I think that's better. Look at those gloves. Now, I'm going to tell you what I would do. I would put a piece of, like a thin piece of cardboard right here and stick it in and then zip it up over that and then pull the cardboard out because I have a phobia of my skin getting pinched when I zip things. I don't know if that's a phobia, but... Come on, y'all. Y'all know this going to be bad. Look at that blue. Can we talk about this blue, though? I mean, they fit like a glove. Pun intended. Yeah, I, I would have to slide something in it right there so that I could zip it up easily. But come on. I might not. It's funny how things happen because I might not even wear them zipped all the way up. At least for as long as they will stand on their own like this. Whoa, what? What? Yeah, they real bad. They Michael Jackson bad. All right, I'll put the other one on. I hear you. I hear you. Put the other glove on. I hear you. Coming right up. Oh, 
Oh, and the other thing is that makes it adjustable, a little adjustable. Now my nails are super long on this hand, so I'm probably not going all the way down on that one or all the way in because my nails stop it. Ooh. They real hard though. That's, that's, let me, uh, what? I mean, look how they even sit out at the, what? They real hard. I love them. Yeah, once I break them in, they real, oh, I love these. That's just like the inside tag on it. Um, and honey, I wouldn't even care if I wore them like this and that white part, that, that's a part of their logo or whatever. Honey, wood, wood. They're, I just, the color is what, what did it for me. See, my nails on this hand, they're so long right now that I can't go all the way down into the glove. And, you know, my dominant hand, those nails break rather frequently. So, let's see, these are just wacko. Oh, these are beautiful. So, again, I got these from The Real Real. Zipper pulls are nice. They're gorgeous. love these all right what we got next who, who is this from this is from it doesn't say who it's from all it says is fashion oh, that's funny i don't know who this is from and don't know what it is drum roll please all right box that is sent in is not a proper hat so that the box rather so that the hat can lay flat because this shouldn't be flipped up like that you see that that shouldn't be flipped up that that hat should have been packed so that that laid flat but and this is from this i believe is from Saks, so i expect more i really do expect more but and this is not the first time Nordstrom did the same thing. Just give us proper size hat boxes, that's all. You give us more box lengthwise and that's not what we need. We need the box to have the width so that the hat lays properly. Okay, okay. Because this is not that kind of hat that sits up and flips up. It is a flat. This hat is to lay flat, or is it? Or maybe it's not. Maybe I'm wrong. I have to go back and look at the picture. All right, so this is Sensi Studio. I got it in a size medium, knowing that I have a big head, but I think apparently that must be all they had. which means okay first off this is looking like a sombrero and that's not what i ordered uh-uh i look like the flying nun now if you see i am going to try to put a side by side of this hat because i don't okay all right Hello, now we talking. 
Oh, now we talking about something. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so you already know it's going to be no wig on this. <laughs> this hat is cold. <laughs> I love it. Now, I will wear it down like this. And then I will take this back. And flip that back up a little bit. Just a little. Maybe even like that. Maybe. You know I love a hat. Whether it be a fitted, a snapback, a fedora, wide brim. A hat is like the crowning moment. Like, it just really is the crowning moment for an outfit. And when I saw this khaki, I mean, what is it? Army green, grow green, grow grain ribbon. I knew. I, I knew. Uh, look at that. She's good. What you think? What do you think? Style Posse, what do you think about this? Okay, so this is it. You saw I, I flipped it up. Like I said, I, I would I would probably flip it in the back or maybe I would do something like, let me see what a side flip might be hitting for. I don't want to mess up the integrity. Oh, <laughs> oh, no. Now that right there put me deep in my bag like a grandma with a peppermint. Like, that's going to put me deep in my bag. I don't even know what. Uh-huh. Yes. And I wouldn't tie the ribbon. Unless I felt like it. But I doubt I would tie the ribbon. I might. It depends on... Ooh. It depends on the... I might. Uh-huh. I might tie the ribbon. It depends on the fit. Come on, spring. Come on, spring. Mm-hmm. That's hard. Oh, we... Oh, she's a keeper. And I think this was flash sale. This was sex, right? Yes. Oh, she's pretty. She is pretty. This is by, did I say, Sensei, Sensei Studio. Oh, she's gorgeous. Isn't she gorgeous? Yeah, she is gorgeous. All right, next up. Let's see what we have. Sorry, I don't have an answer for that. I didn't say your name. This, okay, you've already seen this. If you saw my, wait a minute, maybe you didn't see this. I think I made a short, but I didn't upload the whole video. I have so much video that's not uploaded. This is from the Karen Britchick drop by amazon go watch that short because that's what this is this is just the black set what is this this is from oh this is from steve madden okay i forgot all about these see this is terrible i need to see where the box is These shoes are Archers, Steve Madden, that's the name of them. I have been needing a gray boot. And there's some out there, but I really wanted something plain Jane, simple. And I really, because a lot of brands don't cover zippers anymore, that zipper matchup was very important to me. If you look at 
just a lot of shoes now, no matter whether it's high end or not. The zippers aren't covered and then the zipper match. If that zipper match is off, it just makes the shoe look a little chintzy. All right. That's a beautiful, I don't even know if this is, is this suede? I wonder. It says suede, gray suede, so. That's a perfect boot. Um, I don't remember the heel height on this, but it's just, it's exactly what I needed. Like simple, we not doing the most because my name is Yo-Yo, do the most. So, not doing the most, that's just fine. Just a pair of gray suede boots. I could try them on real quick. I guess that's the point of this, right? And so you can see because you might want them. Let me see if I can get a long enough shot to show you the boot. Just thinking about that hat, that fit is so exact that I won't be able to wear a wig with that. So I'll probably have to slick my do down or be corn rolled down real flat. Like real flat. And wear the corn rolls. Like not wear, not for a wig, because a wig is not gonna fit under that hat. I don't like to get a hat that I can't fit a wig under, but <clears throat> pardon me, that one is so cold blooded that we're gonna make the exception. You know, there's always an exception to the rule. And that girl is that exception. Okay. Yep, she's just what I need. Simple. I mean, the leg is wide. I have a skinny leg, so the leg is a little wide at the top. So, like a thicker calf friendly. I ain't going to say thick because it's not that much room in it. But, can you see? I don't even know if you can see. I don't know if that was much, but hopefully you can see. It's a little dark back here. I am working on my lighting situation. My ring light just died on me, so the company said they were going to send out a new cord, but it's been a while now, so I think I'm going to just have to go ahead and get different type of lighting anyway because I really need the whole studio lit because if not, it's going to cast shadows if I don't get that light to engulf the whole room. So hopefully, hmm, I don't know if you can see that, but it's just a simple gray boot, has a little bit of space, I have a fairly skinny leg. It's a little bit of calf space. Um, will I keep her? I, I think. I don't know. I mean, my hand. That's how much. Like, my hand. And I doubt that I would be, like, tucking boots into I mean, tucking jeans into I mean, I won't say I doubt it. Because maybe I will tuck jeans into it. But we'll see. They, but they're simple and it's just what I needed. They're chic, they're simple, like they're just perfect. They're, they're timeless for, for sure. And I don't know whether you know this or not, but if you get, have a really good cobbler, pardon me, or seamstress, they can go up this seam in the back and tighten that boot for you if, you if you'd like. They just really have to know what they're doing because you don't want to throw off the proportion for the zipper. So, you know, when you pull here, when, when this is taken in, they should know what they're doing. 
but yeah it's a simple boot it's cool i don't know if i showed them to you up close but the gray the color is like serious business steve madden nailed that color that color is really really on point steve madden used a really good suede for this and i don't even mean like i don't know the quality level but i can tell you this is nice and the color is rich i think you just saw my zara haul but if you know like i know you know when zara goes on sale that winter sale or that summer sale or whatever they do you could have 10 boxes coming every other day so with the exception of maybe four more things these are my final i have a few more things that i'm expecting but these are pretty much it for you know what? I'm not even going to say this is it for Zara because everybody knows how Zara goes. Let me move this away from my bag. So let's see. You all know I'm good for sparkles. What did I order now? Oh, 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 oh. This is um a top. It's just like a... asymmetrical top yeah this is cute really cute okay and this is also an asymmetrical top which I thought was really, really sexy. So I'll throw these two on for you. All right. Let's see what else we have from Zara. Okay, let me see. This is a heavy one. have been a whole haul by itself okay this could have been a another zara haul all right so if you know you know style posse you know i love a pair of hot shorts you know i do you know i do so i had to get these now I just can't. I just could not resist them. I cannot wait to wear these. I know on the glitter shorts, I said I was going to wait for wall Pilates. But no, seriously, I'm waiting for wall Pilates on these because these cut up a little higher. A little... All right. I'll save it. All right. Oh, now if you saw my most recent Zara haul, which was the Zara haul sale items like don't miss it or something like that you already saw me try this on but the reason why i ordered another is because when you saw me put it on you saw me cover up my face and everything from the makeup so that i didn't get makeup on it um i looked it over and it already had makeup on it so apparently someone tried it on in the store and got makeup on it so i just ordered another one because this is not something that I want to try to get makeup out of, which is why you saw me try it on the way I tried it on. I'm very particular about my clothes when it comes to makeup and try-ons and 
especially if it's something that I order. I try to take, not even I try to, I take care of things because I know that the next person that it goes to doesn't want makeup on their clothes. I know I don't want to receive something with makeup on it. So I just try to do unto others as I would have them do unto me. Um, so I got another one. I got, I got this one and I'm going to take the one back that you saw the try on for in the um, previous video, but I also got it in this color because this color right here is called, I think, bottle green. This color is everything. I, when I tell you, you're going to get me every time on bottle green, hunter green, um, forest green army green i love green i said to you before i'm a parochial school girl and our main color running through our uniform was green so i don't even know like our tartan i think it's called a tartan right i think anyway our main color was green so i'm a forever green girl um so i love these these are real dope real real dope and if you didn't see the video, I'll just show you really quickly. Um, now, I'll try this on like this because I know that I'm going to keep this. But nevertheless, I'll just show you what I do, what I do how it looks. So, something simple like this just to cover my face for the try on so you can see how it looks. This is so dope. Like, that's everything. That is just everything. I love it. Love, love, love it. Love it. And I particularly Sorry, about battery died. So you saw me put that on. And like I said, this is just the same thing in cream. And what is this? What is this? Oh, this is just a, um, like sheer top that I thought was really cute. Um, yeah, I just think that's kind of sharp, like. Who knows what you'll wear that over, but whenever you do, it's going to be, it's going to be dope. Now, I don't know about you, but I cut tags out on certain things because I never really thought about tags as far as resale value goes. But now I do think about that because I know that items are more valuable if it has the original tag in it. Now, Keep in mind, I don't buy my clothes to resell them. I buy my clothes because I plan, I have every intention of keeping them. But I found that, you know, taste or your likes evolve and change over the years. Next up, oh, okay. This, um, unfortunately, I played with Zara and had a small in my cart. And didn't check out and went back to my cart and it was gone. So I just got the large because I really just wanted to see it. Um, and now I'm disappointed that I didn't get the small in time. I don't know if I would keep this and wear it as like a tunic. But even under those circumstances, it's still a little too big. I don't know but the sleeves I really liked the sleeves on this so I don't know about this one we'll see we'll see if I keep it but it's too big for me if I were to wear it the way it's meant to be worn all right what is this oh this is something I have been wanting for quite some time but I just tried it on in store Put it in, took it to the register, told them I didn't want it, went back, 
I just, I don't know, I went back and forth. But when it finally went down and I saw that it was still available, it's a pinstripe jumper. It's real cute. I'm going to try it on and it might still go back. I'm funny like that. Yeah, I mean, okay. Let's try on these few pieces. It's real, it's real cute. It's real cute. Let me get this chair out of the way. really cute it hangs long here but I actually don't mind that it's really cute now yeah I mean I'm gonna have to hold my stomach in for dear life but and then I have to think about like if I do something like that, what how do I prevent if I do something like this, how do I prevent like the boobs from just showing? So where what happens here? Do I they didn't make any allowance for that, but I could just bring my buttonhole a little tighter. I could But this really is, this really is nice. And the, the hang on it is everything. I don't know what this hair is looking like. But the hang on it is everything. And I'm wearing heels. I mean, my heels might be hiding this when I wear it, but this is, this is nice. There's a nice weight to the fabric. You see this right here? I can't have that happen. So, like, like this, it's fine, but the moment, which means if I wanted to wear it now, if I wore like a little, I'm just trying to see what I would need to do so that when I bend over, I still have what I need, and yet it's not too tight when I'm standing erect. Standing up straight. Yeah. And it actually, on the model, it sits low like this. So, yeah, this is, this is, this is nice. I'm glad I finally got it. Even though it shows my fat underarms, which, oh well. Yeah. This is nice. She is, I knew I liked her from the beginning. I knew I liked her from the beginning. But I just wouldn't cop it until now. And I think I got it for a good sale price, so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she was nice. Let me show you the other two. Show you what this is. So you can have some idea. So let's see how she works. Okay, now. Let's get it popping. Okay, so I think what she does is. Let's see if I got this right. So, 
that's all she really is. I mean, you could leave your strings hanging if you wanted. But I think, like, let's just say you were out at, like, a beach party. Oh, it's sexy to have something hanging and pretty and blowing in the wind. So, it would be something like that. Let me just tie it up in a knot. But that's the asymmetric top. That's really it. That's really it. I just thought, you know, I'm like a moth to a flame when it comes to sequins. Yeah, so it just hangs like that. It's nothing, no rhyme or reason. And I see you can make it a little tighter. And just imagine like you have on your cute little cut off Daisy Dukes and your high heels and your glass of whatever, whatever. Uh-huh. You out at, pool, at the poolside bar as the sun is going down, you know, with your fresh color. Because, baby, I need a fresh color. Mm-hmm. Yep. Pretty stud earrings. Not light work. Light work. You don't need your big... I mean, you could wear whatever you want to wear. Don't get me wrong. Because I might be right at beach side with the big... But I'm just saying, it's light work. You make it real light and easy breezy. Um... Okay, let me see the other one. The other one is very similar, I think, based on what I saw online. Let me get this off properly. All right, let me all show you the, the black one. logic game and I still might not have it right but feels like this might be right and it's just just like the the sparkle one like I said asymmetrical does some whatever it wants to do in the back mm -hmm, I think I got that right and then it just hangs to the side like this so you know it's just easy it's an easy type of situation sexy back all out with your bikini bottom on like sexy you know you know yeah so i wouldn't say i went crazy with the zara sale but i went off a little bit like i did a few things i guess i could try this on but i'm fairly certain that this is going back and in addition to that my face is not covered up. Let me get something to cover my face. I'm cover my face. Crazy. Hmm. 
doing this is not even really that crazy this is not even really that crazy you know I mean, because I could cut this neck out and really make it the. It was the sleeves. The sleeves got me. Like, look at the sleeves on that. I love these sleeves. Um, I could take this in to make that fit a little. I don't know. Let me check the price. It might go back. I might keep it a. Uh, I almost, I feel like I can make something happen with this. And what that something is, I don't know yet, but. All right, Style Posse, it's time for you to weigh in because there's some things you just you need to take back. But I don't know. All right, that is everything for my winter sale haul. Everything that I can link will be linked in the description box. Oh, I left out. I keep leaving things out. One more thing. And that is this jacket. I got this from Marshalls. And when I tell you the hang on it, the weight on it. Like it is so substantial and beautiful. But what really got me on this one was that lapel. Sometimes you see lapels that don't cut in enough. They'll cut in really short and then come right back out. To me, mm, that's not my jam. But when that lapel cuts in right, cuts in deep, it's a whole other ball game. So I had to get it. And if you saw my sparkle hot shorts, micro shorts, then you already know I had to get this. All right, that really is the last thing. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. We are small, but we are mighty. We are growing. We are the Style Posse. Shout out to all the fly girls, fly guys. Thank you for stopping by. And I'll see you in the next one. Okay, this is editing me. I filmed everything you saw last night. But while editing this morning, this came in. So I figured I would just add it to the fray. And of course, you know, I'm Zara. So let's see what we got here. something from Zara Surplus or Dust Cover. Oh, I forgot about this. Well, I didn't forget, but this is a leather belt bag. They called it a crossbody, but mm, with it just hanging on leather straps, I don't think it's I thought that was so cute that is super cute so this is genuine leather from the Zara surplus oh and they move they're adjustable Oh, that's going to be real cute. I don't even know what I'm going to wear that with. Might even wear it like more to the side like that. Oh, that's cute. Ooh. Really, really cute, right? Ah. Okay. And I love that Zara sent a dust cover. Like what? Oh, and it's just like... This one is a zip pouch. Then, I don't even know if that will hold my phone. 
but this is like a little magnetic flap and this is like you know something that you would put I don't know, but it's just cute. Isn't that cute in the color? I just, I love the color. I don't know if it's like a slate or what, but that's just real cute, right? Uh, let's see what else. Oh, goodies, goodies. Oh, I know what. All right, that's why the box is so heavy. Now, I'm a bit of a, a boot snob, and that doesn't mean that the boots have to be expensive, but I'm a little snobbish about the quality of a boot. So, we're going to see what it's fitting for. The heel height on this just sucked me right on in. I mean, for the price, I think I got them for about $30 because I tend not to buy faux leather things because I know how faux leather performs. I'm probably speaking into um, old faux leather because the technology was not as advanced on some of the faux leather things that I bought years ago and they just peel and I think technology has gotten a lot better when it comes to faux leather. So They might turn out, it's, because it's a simple black boot, I just figured you can't go wrong with that. Now, I already know that this leg is going to be too big for me, so this could only be worn with, like, jeans and, I don't know. But I just love the heel height on these, so I think I got these for about. I know I didn't pay $40 for them, or at least I don't believe I did. So, okay, that's all that's in here. Just that belt and these boots. So they have a, like that partial zip up the side. I mean, this, high, this heel height is easily four and a half, if not more. So, I'll probably probably keep these I wonder I have to stand back if you can see how far up they come yeah they're definitely thigh high now you know if you've seen these boots if you've seen my shoe video you know i already have these which are my um like this is i i, I do have serious business thigh highs but they're different in the sense of this can get a lot more wear because of the the structure of the heel as opposed to, you know, put these on. We tipping. We tipping from start to finish. So I may keep them. I just know that's going to be big on my leg. Now, if you remember me saying you can have a professional shoe person put a seating right in here so that it'll fit your leg the way you want it to. It's just that it would have to be done with such precision. I don't know. I, I'll, 
where I'm going to keep them. Let me just make sure they're my right size. Considering I have this bony leg, it, it is kind of decent. What's crazy is I probably, not crazy, but I'm sure I can get a lot more wear out of these than I do my Lubicons. Because of the structure of the heel and the platform, these probably gonna get, yeah, way more action than the Lubicons. Can you see that? Okay, so. Yeah, that just came this morning, so I figured I'd add it in and give you a look. See, now it's trying to go through all of this stuff and see what I'm keeping. And for the most part, I like just about everything. So. All right, that's everything.